uh, he's, he's, he's a comedian, first of all. That's how I met him. As a comedian and an actor in a new movie we're working on together, but we're going to bring Showboat back. Showboat's, yes. Showboat's a house party, and he's in that. That's how I first really met him. And well, I actually was meet, meeting him because we get on Earthquakes radio show together and earthquake was on the plane with me yesterday when i flew in I really the long leg of it when we did like the four hours i didn't even see him yeah and we got on the little plane i walked right past him and i thought to myself man that show looks like earthquake he had to yeah. down had yeah his glasses on his mask i sat behind him i'm talking to kelly on the phone he turned around between the seats is that michael kai back there <laughs> so, earthquake, we do earthquake show together but this guy he knows sports he got his own sports company we're gonna bring him in to be our sports voice this morning get your hand together for our friend vj come on vj <laughs> I like that right. Oh, I got graphics. Oh, I was in it. I was in it. Do 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 do. I appreciate that. What's up? Good morning, gentlemen. How y'all doing? Hey, good morning to you. We doing fantastic, sir. Oh man, man, man. I've been doing great. It's been a great week, man. I see y'all bugging this morning. I've been over here laughing my behind off, man. Uh, the comedian. Wow, what a joke. What a joke. Oh, God, that was hilarious. Michael Carr over here drinking tea out of a measuring cup. Y'all are, y'all are, that look like a glass that when your girlfriend bring it to you, the first thing you think, you look up at her, you think to yourself, see, this is why I cheat. Because I asked for some Kool-Aid. This is why I cheat. Because I, I asked for some Kool-Aid and there well, ain't no dishes clean. And you brought it to me in a measure. Okay. All right. Hey, cool. can I make a switch up on us right now? Okay. You know, I called and told you I was going to let you go ahead and do your segment. Yeah. And Chris, Chris, I'm going to switch up some things called the time because we already at the 28. So the legend, can we go right to, to the sports legend? Sure. VJ, I'm, I'm are you ready. ready? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Because I was going to have VJ do his thing and then later I was going to come back. And bring on this, the sports legend that I was so, so, so blessed to meet at the airport. You know, he caught me in there cheating, though. You know, he was actually in first class, you know, rich people. Me, I'm in coach, so I, I tend to cheat, BJ. Um, <laughs> I always go in first because when I go up to the gate, I limp. Now, uh, now my limp don't don't kick in until about one gate before I go. So if I'm on gate 13, my limp kick in at 12. So I, uh -huh. on, I get on first. I sit in the back. So I was joking. We was talking about it, and I realized who he is. He's a sports legend. This guy mm -hmm. has a, a World Series ring and everything. And I said, well, we're going to bring him on the show. But we might as well bring him on the show with you because you know sports. You know, because when he told me that he was on the San Francisco Giants, I thought it was a football team. Right. So <laughs> I'm so happy to have him on here with a real legend. Let's bring him on right now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the sports hero I'm talking about is Ellis Burke from the San Francisco Giants. Bring him on right now, Mr. Ellis Burke. Hey. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Thank you, you doing, man? <laughs> Ellis. Hey, hey. How are you, sir? I'm doing great this morning. Sorry, I'm, I was a little late, Mike. Sorry about that. Were you golfing? No, I'm about to go. Oh, you about to go. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is so awesome. Um, really, before I turn this over to VJ, Tell me the teams you were on. Okay, I started my career with the Boston Red Sox mm -hmm. from 1987 to 1993. Went to the Chicago White Sox for one year. Mm -hmm. Left them, went to the Colorado Rockies for four and a half. And during mm -hmm. that uh, half of the fourth year, I got traded over to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Played in San Francisco for three Came to Cleveland Indians for three and back to Boston for to finish my career where I started. Wow, so a damn! Total you, of eighteen years. Damn, you just can't hold a job, can you? Hey, man, you know, <laughs> I go where the money go, bro. Yeah. I love yeah. it though, and they wanted you all over the place. This is not my area expertise, so I ain't gonna play. Let me turn it over to my main man here, man, VJ Burns. VJ, this is Ellis Burks, the legend. Let's talk sports. Go ahead. Let's do it. I know exactly who Mr. Burks is. I follow this career very close. As you were naming your teams, I'm looking all, yep, yep, I remember. He was there then. Yep, yep, yep. yep. I remember he was there then. So uh, thank you for coming on. Uh, great pleasure for me. Big fan. Followed your career, especially 
when you were uh, with the Rockies, when you were one of the main players in the National League. I found a stat. I'm a stat junkie, and I found this stat that just really blew me away. I want to ask you about this. First of all, how's retirement treating you, and what are you up to these days? Well, right now with the pandemic, I'm doing nothing. Okay. I'm just playing golf every day. There you go. Uh, you know, the San Francisco Giants, we had that shortened season, but most of the employees and the executives uh, didn't do very much uh, because the, the scouting was done. You know, we really was, wasn't was active at all. So uh, this is what I've been doing most of the time right here, just kicking back, relaxing. Yeah, I like to swing them still sticks myself from time to time. I suck. Yeah. I suck, you know what I'm saying? But, but I like to go out there, the peace, the serenity, and just as a former athlete, the competition of it, because golf's hard. A lot of people oh, think it's easy. Golf's hard. You got to play it a lot to get good at it's, it. It's very hard. Yes. I mean, when I first started, I mean, I was screaming out four more than anything. I mean, <laughs> off your court yeah. onto another course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't had. I didn't had. I didn't hit ball so far. I don't even go look for it. I just look around at my team and go, "Y'all know I could drop another one. I'm not going way in there. That's far." Did you see where that cleared? We don't even know where that landed. Yeah, I'm not going in there. You guys got to let me just drop another ball. Um, okay. let's talk about a little bit of career, man. Uh, your best year was '96. '96 one of my favorite years because it's my high school graduation year. It's also uh, the graduation year of one of my favorite athletes of all time, Kobe Bryant, uh, graduated that same year. Um, your best season. And I think, honestly, you were robbed of the MVP when I go back and I look at those numbers. You finished third in the voting behind Caminiti and Piazza. But what was interesting here, and I dug deep and looked at some numbers, you led the league in three categories that year. You led the league in runs at 142, slugging at 639, and total bases at 392. The only thing Caminiti led the league in was sack flies at 10, and Piazza, zero, and even the AL winner, my guy, Juan Gon Gonzalez, he didn't lead the league in anything. And I looked at the numbers, and I'm like, wow, 156 games, 40 home runs, 45 doubles, 128 RBIs. Do you feel, because looking at it, I'm like, I think my man might have been robbed of the MVP that year. Former yeah. athlete, what do, you, what do you say that year? You know what? You're bringing up some painful moments. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, uh, you know, I, I really did. I thought I was robbed. I yeah. mean, uh, you know, for me to be in the league for the time that I was there and be as consistent as I was that particular year and put up the numbers that I put up, I thought it was definitely a given that I was going to get it. But, you know, they threw this at me as far as being on a, a fourth place team. Yeah. You know, we weren't in the playoffs. And, you know, I, I just felt like I was cheated during that point. But you know what? It didn't, it didn't bother me at all because the next year I came back and had another great year. You sure did. And listen, I'm not trying to bring up painful memories. I, I You were one of my favorite players when I was a kid growing up, along with guys like Juan Gonzalez and Pudge Rodriguez. Oh, yeah. Ken Griffey Jr. is probably my favorite player, best 5-2 player I think I've ever seen with my yeah. own eyes, even with Trout. And if you go back, you got the OGs that'll tell you it was Babe Ruth and some of the other guys. I know Barry's done his thing, but um, those were, you know, kind of my guys. Um you played over 7,000 plate appearances. It's a lot of time walking up to the plate to take some hacks at pitchers. Oh, yeah. Is there a pitcher that you could think of that in your playing days, when you were walking up there, you're like, this is going to be, I got to be on my P's and Q's and cross my T's and dot my I's with this guy, a guy that you looked forward to the competition who was great and you knew you had to go with your best stuff to, to put the ball in play? Well, I, I, I think it was with uh, when I was with the Red Sox, my – Second year, we made the playoffs in 1988. Dave Stewart was pitching. Mm. And you know how tough he was. Karate man. He had that look on his face. Man. His hat pulled all the way down. Yep. He couldn't see his eyes. He had a very intimidating look. Yep. And at the same time. You're talking about for the A's, correct? He was with the A's. With, okay, just making sure. And at the same time, they were doing the wave. It was like 55,000 fans <sighs> waving and going around. I got goosebumps. I got to get up in the box and face this very intimidating yeah. pitcher. I mean, I was like, wow, hold up now. Let me just back up, take a deep breath, get back in there. So, you know, it was just one of those surreal moments where it really hit me that I was in the big leagues doing my thing and going against some of the best that was in the league at the same time. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I, that's just one of the things I love to watch former great pro athletes like you. Like, I always tell people, listen to the players. You can listen to the writers and the journalists all you want. But when you get an opportunity to talk to a player that faced certain guys, talk to them. They'll tell you who the man was. They'll tell you who the guy no. was. It won't be oh, no yeah, mistake. Okay. So I got, I listen, I could talk to you all day. I've been studying. I got questions, but our time is short here. I appreciate you, Mr. Ellisburg. 17 years in the league. 
Congratulations to you, sir. All success with all the managing and coaching that you're doing in the future and that golf swing, buddy. Remember, they say keep that elbow, keep that elbow straight. Keep it straight. Keep that elbow. Hey, let me, let me keep, tell you keep something. elbow straight. Michael Carr, he was not joking when he said he had that fake limp going. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as he got up there, I saw that limp from afar. I'm like, there it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mr. Ellis Burks, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, sir. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you. And it, it works every time. And I thought about when he was saying how you got robbed, I thought about how they robbed Denzel Washington in the movie Hurricane. Mm -hmm. Nobody had a better performance that year. Oh, man. And they took it from him. But just like you, he's a champ. Yep. You're a champ. Yep. And you know that people are always trying to rob you. People are always step in and try to throw a stick in the machinery. But the real winners, they keep their chin up and they keep on moving. That's you, sir. And I'm honored to meet you and just and, and grateful that. you were able to stop in and talk to us today. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me on, all right? Thanks a Thank lot, Mr. Burks. God bless you, sir. God we'll bless talk you. again. All BJ, right. great job, y'all. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate it. Find you, man. Uh, always, guys, can find me at Vestin Sports on YouTube. Please check out our network that we're building. First black, all black, first all black owned sports and comedy network. We're doing something big. We're doing something new for the culture that the people need right now. And I'm going to bring sports talk back, and we're going to add some comedy to it. Shake it up. Also, Denzel, he was robbed. Of Mal my favorite movie of all time. He was robbed of Malcolm, Malcolm X. Malcolm. He should have won Malcolm. There's no way how. The only person that ever did a biopic and you thought you were watching that guy is when Jamie did Ray. That's right. When Jamie did Ray, you felt, you forgot you were watching Jamie Foxx. No discredit to anybody else Jamie that's done Fox a biopic. Was not Jamie Foxx. Was not that Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx was, was, was Ray. And then he X. Yeah, and then X, Denzel left his, like you said, left his body to play Malcolm. I cried right. coming out of the theater. I remember ninth grade cried. My stepdad put his arms around me and said, that's what a real man is, son. I was in tears. I couldn't believe they killed him like that. I didn't know up until that point. Yep, wow. I didn't know up until that point. I was in we tears. We are great people, man. Yep. I love being black. You know, black people are my favorite people in the whole wide world. Yeah, you we know, come in all shades. Look at it. We come in all shades and sizes. I mean. All flavors, all colors, all, man. Anyway. Ooh. Great job, DJ. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate you. I love you, Mike. God bless you. God love bless. You. Love you, Chris. Love you, Ebony. Hey, y'all, we we're gonna keep it moving. We got so much stuff going on, and we only got like a few minutes left. This Friday, y'all, is the Michael Kyle Morning Show. You better get your big 